Hey guys, it's Brian Gamardello from Marie Max of Huntington. Today we're looking at the 2024 Boston Whaler 380 Realm. So here we are on the 2024 Boston Whaler 380 Realm. This boat is powered by twin 600 Mercury Verados V12s. This boat cruises comfortably at 4,000 RPMs at 35.5 miles per hour with a miles per gallon of 0.81. Your top speed of 54 miles an hour, which will get you going where you need to go pretty quick. So here we are in the cockpit. As you notice, a lot, a lot, a lot of wood finishes here. This is classic Boston Whaler. You've got a nice side step on your starboard side. A nice footrest here for any passengers looking aft. This is a very comfortable seat, deep cushions, and a nice raised cushion here at the outer thigh under the leg. Really feels like you're, you're solid here sitting on the seat. And all these fold up nicely. In here, you could store a lot of ice in here. You got a divider, a sliding tray, Bates, ice, drinks. If you want more access, this opens nice and easily. Very good design by Boston Whaler here. If you got fish boxes on your port and starboard side, we'll get into those in a moment. But first, let's look at our rear seat here. This is a big seat. It can fit three adults fairly easily. It's got a nice angle to it. So you're very comfortable. You're not sitting up too high, but you're also not slouching back too much. The seat folds in simple. And this is where your dive ladder is stored. So right here on the port side, very heavy duty door and hardware. Open this up. You got a grab rail. And your ladder will hook in right there. So the fish box here on the starboard side, about four feet long and two feet deep. You can fit a lot of fish in here. So we'll close these up. Also on your starboard side, you have your ground fault detectors, your shore power breakers, and your shore power hookup. We got a fresh water wash down here and a little storage for anything, tackle, whatever you feel like you need to store in there. On the port side, we got a nice transom boarding door. Again, more heavy hardware here. Your engine flush operation button located here, just past the transom boarding door. You've got a raw water wash down. Moving forward, one of my favorite parts of the boat. We've got a very deep sink here very deep three cup holders this stows away put ice in here anything you need sponges cleaning and the best part got a nice Kenyan grill below the grill you got your fridge and ice maker and three storage drawers these are your Kenyan grill controls here Five gallon Boston Whaler bucket storage. Now noticeable in this helm, this boat does come with the full canvas package. You do have climate control up here. So your passengers sitting aft or at the helm, you have climate control in both areas. I'll show you how to maneuver this seat in just a moment. So now any passengers, this is now in the forward facing position. Again, the same detail with the cushions. You got a raised more forward cushion here to get under the thighs. You got climate control right below and a nice footrest. Also stows away just like so. Coming up to the helm area. Very comfortable, no divider, two side by side helm chair with a nice footrest here. This boat does have joystick. You have three SimRed screens so you could easily 
spread out all the information you need. Right now I have my engine controls center, my vessel control to port, and my navigation on starboard. Nice thing about the helm, we got a nice about six inch step here. If you don't want that, it easily folds up and locks into place. On your most port side, you got a single seat. Again, beautiful wood accents by Whaler. And any passenger here has just got a great view, nice breeze, ready to go. So something interesting here, this is great engineering, great design by Whaler. We do have an open bow here, so any water, any rain that comes aft will get caught here, stop, and drain right off. So it does not wash back into the helm area or the cockpit. You have storage for anything you might need here and here. And let's work our way forward. As we come forward, you've got really heavy duty hardware. So this door swings down and it's got two very nice pistons. So it won't swing up with force. It's nice and easy. So you just bring this down like so, lock it in and that's locked in place. Now we can move forward. You have a bow block off door that I just closed, but it's easily as you open it, it goes down the pole in a corkscrew manner and locks into place. Here are the bow area. You have seating for three adults just forward of the windshield. And you could easily fit five to six more in our U-shaped seating here. This table is actuated, so it does go up and down. This cushion is removable and you have your windlass up here with remote control and fresh water wash down. So here we are in the cabin of the 380 Realm. Again, you got a nice deep sink here. Storage, storage, storage. You got your 120 circuit breaker here, your 12 volt system here, 12 television here. This table is collapsible and it can make one giant V berth here. You do have backrests on both your port and starboard side, so you can sit comfortably just like this and watch TV if you wanted to. You've got nice storage on the port side as well as your JL radio controls. And you have a nice refrigerator and ice maker just below the sink. On the floor here, you have your shower sump. So whenever that needs cleaning, easy access. Working our way into the head of the 380 Realm. It is a wet head. You've got a nice teak overlay there for the toilet. Nice shower and sink with storage above. Here you have storage for your teak cockpit table. You can see your diesel generator below and right under here you have your seat keeper. Easy access to your through holes, your strainers, your batteries, fire suppression, hydraulic systems. Very neat design, very neat layout, easily accessible. If you're interested in this 2024 Boston Whaler 380 Realm, contact us at Marine Max of Huntington, 631-424-2710.